Hello, in this lecture we will go over how to restore the Larry Landscaping data file into the QuickBooks. So Larry Landscaping is a pre-set up file that we will be using all the way through chapter five. So that's the second thing that we want to get installed. We'll be working with the same data file all the way up through chapter five. So once we have uploaded QuickBooks 2014, we will see an icon like this. If you have not installed the software, you can look at the prior video in order to do that. Then if we open the QuickBooks 2014, we'll get a window that may look like this. QuickBooks 2014 might try to open to the prior um, file that you had open. So if you had been working in a prior file such as these, we see these prior files that have been worked on. It may open to a new screen if it's the first time that you have gone into QuickBooks and it goes into their preview screen and try to give you some tutorials on how to use QuickBooks. Whichever screen it opens to, you should generally have the file tab up here. So we could go into new files like this or open files like this. I recommend always using the file tab though because the file tab will direct you to the actual location of the file. So we know that even if it's the same name, we want to know where that file is located. Now there are two ways to locate the data files. One, we're going to upload them into the Moodle room. So if you go into Moodle rooms, you will find the Larry landscaping that is uploaded to Moodle rooms. Also, if you have the book, when you look at the back of the book, we installed using this CD, there will be another CD that will have the data files. There's some pros and cons to using either format. Obviously, if you don't have the DVD drive, then you want to download it from Moodle. Uh, if you have the DVD drive, it might be a little bit easier so that because you do not have to then go through the download process. When downloading from Moodle Rooms, note that it's going to be a backup file. So we have to actually download this to some location on our computer and then open it through QuickBooks because we need to unzip the file. So the process that we need to do is first to uh, click on the Larry Landscaping in order to open it. If you're in Chrome, you're going to get an icon such as this that will show the download process here is going to take a bit of time because once again they are fairly large files once this happens we can't just open it what we need to do is put it somewhere on our computer because quickbooks cannot open the backup file so if you're in chrome i like to actually go over here and go to the show downloads and i'll show some other browsers as well so you can see it in other browsers but if i go to show downloads these are all the downloads that are recent if i take this window and drag it to the left we can then see the desktop over here. I would then make another folder on the desktop. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to new folder, new and folder. I'm going to create a location for it. I'm just going to call it QuickBooks. Then I'm going to open up that QuickBooks file. And I would make two types of files here. One is going to be the back. I'm going to make another one that's going to be data files because we're going to have two types of files. So this is the first thing we need to go over I'm going to drag this file into the backup file because this is a quick up backup. There's the file. So now it's on our desktop. It's in this folder and it's under the backup files. Note that if you're using Firefox, just to show you, it'll look a little bit different. If we're trying to download the backup file, once again, we're downloading the backup file, you'll get a thing like this. It says open file. You can't open the file. So because it's a backup file, you're going to have to save it and then select OK. So you have a slightly different pop up. And then this little icon pops up here showing that it is uh, opening the file. Once that has been completed, then you'll see this little drop down and I can open this up and I can actually open up the folder here, the whole folder and see all the stuff that I have in here. And then once again, I could, I could drag this into my QuickBooks folder. So if you're using Firefox, it's going to look like that. And lastly, if you're using Internet Explorer here, then same idea if you open this up then you'll get this ribbon at the bottom once again you can't open it but you and you can save it but i'm going to hit the drop down and we're going to save as and this will actually give you the navigation pane so that you can go directly to our desktop is where we put the folder and then we're going to go to quickbooks and i'm going to go into the backup files and you can do the same saving process so those are the ways you can save it in those three types of browsers. once we have the backup file in the location we want here then we can't just open it from there because it is a backup file. We do then need to open the QuickBooks file. So if you can have the, the file here or you can have it on, if you put in the, the drive for, from the book, it'll have it right here. So it'll have all the files located and you, you won't have to go through that process of taking it out from Moodle. Once you have that information, then 
you want to open up QuickBooks. So we're going to open up QuickBooks. We're going to ignore whatever screen it is on. And we're just going to go up to file. So even if it's open in another company, that's fine. Because once we go to file and we go to open or restore, it will close whatever is open and go through the open or restore process. So I'm going to go to open or restore. And in this case, we're not opening the file because we are restoring a file. Remember, this is a backup file. It's a zipped file. The purpose of a zip file is twofold. One, it's to save the data. And two, it makes com the data compressed so that we can then store it more easily. So now we have to unzip it. So I'm going to unzip the file. And then I'm just going to have the default being the local uh, backup. That's the location. Then we need to navigate and find where it is at. I put ours on the desktop. We created a new file called QuickBooks and we put it into the backup files. So then I'm going to double click on this and this is the area that we will be opening that file. And then we'll say next. Now we need to know where we want to put it. Note it's already in the same file here. It's in the same area. There's nothing in the window. Why isn't there anything in the window when we just took it from that area? Because that was a backup file and now we're saving it as a restored file. I suggest not putting it into the same area. You could, but I would hit the drop down or go back to the desktop, go to your uh, QuickBooks file, and then I'm going to put this into the data file, meaning the restored files, and then select OK, and then it should go through the restoration process. If we have this icon on, pops up, I understand that my computer file will be updated. We're going to update the file. Even if you're using 2014 and this is a 2014 file, there are updates within QuickBooks throughout that process. So oftentimes you'll still have to update the file. File has been updated. You may get a pop-up saying that this is a sample file. So we're going to say, okay, that's okay. We know that. And then hopefully we get something saying your data, your data has been restored successfully, which is, which is good news. And if this pops up here, uh, do, do you want to allow this uh, application to read and modify this uh, company file? We're going to say uh, continue and done. Now we are in the data. So close this icon here. And then we know that we're in the Larry landscaping because I'm going to close these up here as well. Because we have the uh, sample Larry landscaping up here in the top. So that knows that we are in the correct file. and if we were to go into the file again, I'm going to close this, the whole thing. And if we go back to the desktop, you can open up the desktop and you can see that there's the backup file. We're not going to open that. We're going to open the data file, which it made all this stuff. But really, that's the data file right there. We could open it just like this, like double clicking on it now, since this is the data file and open it as we do many times from a Word document or an Excel document. where We just find the file, we double click on it, and then it automatically runs the program and it should uh, run the program and open in that way. So we're going to go, go OK, and it will open up this icon and open up the program automatically. Uh, also, conversely, most companies a lot of times will just open up QuickBooks. So if I just open up QuickBooks now, it will generally oftentimes open up to the prior file that we had open, which would be the one we were working on, which is the last one we uploaded, being Larry Landscaping in this case.